So in this class, I'm going to explain how the class path works in Java. Here I have a simple program called Hello World, which takes two command line arguments. The first one is the first name of the person, and the second argument is the last name. And it just prints, hello, this is your first Java program. How are you doing? Mr. whatever is the first name followed by whatever is the last name. So the way you compile this code is you go into the folder containing this file. So I go into the package name for this is com.zenelocity.training.hello. Generally package names contain the name of the company. So Zenelocity is the name of my company and com generally means company. So if it is Microsoft, generally the package names would be com.microsoft. If it is Google, it will be com.google. And then you have some directory structure which represents this package and the name of this class is hello world. So let me go into the folder containing this file. So I traverse into com zenelocity training hello. And if I see here, I see the hello world.java and the class file that was last compiled. I'm going to remove that file. Hello world.class. And now I only see the hello world.java. So the way I compile this from the command line is to invoke Java C and enter the name of the Java file. So Java C is a compiler which is used to compile Java files. It will create a class file. The class file is contains a byte code that can run on any operating system as long as you have a JVM on that operating system. So Java is platform independent. So the code that you write in the Java file is compiled into a class file which can run on any operating system like Windows, Mac or Linux. So I'm going to compile this file now. So I invoke Java C. After I invoke Java C, you should see the hello world dot class generated here. Okay. Now, in order to run this hello world dot class, we have to first see the the package name. The package name is com dot dot training dot hello. So the full package qualified name of the class is includes the package name dot the name of the class which is hello world. So the full name of this file of this class is com dot dot training dot hello dot hello world. So I have to go all the way up to invoke this if I'm using a relative path name. So I say Java, okay, dash CP. CP is short for class path. And any option that is run, and Java is the, the JVM that you use. I'm using the Windows JVM here. And any option to the JVM has to be passed with the dash option. So if you type dash help, it's going to show you all the options for the JVM. And if you scroll up, dash cp or dash class path is one of the options. So I'm going to say java dash class path. I'm going to use a relative path name. Relative path name is always with respect to the current directory. So I'm going to say dot which is a current directory and then I'm going to say com dot zenelocity dot training dot hello dot hello world. So notice I don't give the dot class at the end. The dot class is implicitly supplied by the JVM. You don't have to specify it. So if I run this program, it runs, but it is giving an array index out of bound exception because it is ex expecting two arguments, the first name and the last name. So let me pass those. I'm passing my first name Sujit and my last name Kumar. So now when I run this program, it says, hello, this is your first Java program. How are you doing Mr. Sujit Kumar? So here I'm passing a relative path name, relative path name, can we can include dot or dot dot which is a parent directory so let's say I'm in the one level up and now if I want to invoke the same program I have to say Java dash class path now I should say bin or dot bin which is, if you don't supply the dot the operating system will automat uh, will automatically provide that. So you say dot backslash bin, which is the same as 
not passing the dot slash. The dot slash is optional for current directory. Let's say I want I go into uh, the the bin folder, and then I go into the com folder. And let's say I want to invoke it using relative paths from here. So I can invoke the same program by saying I have to go one level up dot dot which will take me to the parent folder and that contains the com folder so if I run this program it should work fine so let's say I'm in the generosity folder I can invoke the same program by saying dot dot backslash dot dot so it goes two levels up so it starts searching for this file called hello world from two levels up which is a bin folder and then it looks for the folder called com then generosity then training then hello and inside hello it looks for the class file called hello world dot class and these are the arguments that I'm supplying to the program Sujit is the first name which is the first argument to hello world the first argument goes into arc 0 and the second argument goes into arc 1 okay now when I run this program it should work fine so this is with relative path names. Let's say I go and and rename this hello world dot class file. I go into training folder, training, hello, and I rename hello world to hello world one dot class. And now if I run the same program which was running earlier it will not work because it is not able to find the hello world dot class in the class path so now if I run this and if I give the current directory it says class not found exception because I renamed that hello world dot class to hello world dash one dot class okay so let me ch change that back So I'm renaming, renaming the hello, hello. Let me rename it from Explorer. It will be faster. I can press F2 to rename a file quickly so I'm going to rename that back and if I go back to the parent and execute that program again it should work fine now let's run the same program with absolute paths so with absolute path it should start from the root of the root of the directory tree so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Java dash class path what is the fo uh, absolute path to this bin folder? I'm going to copy this address as text and I'm going to paste this in my Windows prompt. So my, I now have Java dash class path till the bin folder and the bin folder contains com generosity training hello as a directory inside of it and that contains the hello world class file. So I can run this with absolute path names. So with absolute path names, I can be anywhere in the file system and run it. So I can be in C colon, I can be in the root of the tree, directory tree, and I can still run the same program. So with absolute path names, it will run regardless of your current location. But relative path names are always with respect to your current location. Okay. Now I'll show you how you can have multiple entries in your class path. So what I've done here is I've copied the same class file into two folders here temp1 which contains the hello world dot class and temp2 which also contains the hello world dot class under the same directory structure which maps to the 
package of the of this class so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to add all these folders as part of the class path and class path entries are separated from each other by semicolon so I'm going to say uh, the first entry I'm going to put as C colon backslash temp1 now the separator between paths is semicolon and I'm going to say C colon backslash temp2 and one more semicolon followed by the third one so I have three entries in the class path now and each entry is separated from the other by a semicolon so I'm going to execute this program it's going to find it in all the three locations so it's going to scan from left to right so at first it will search for C colon temp1 since it is there it's going to execute that so what I'm going to do is I'll go and rem uh, rename the one here to hello world dash one now hello world dot class doesn't exist here but it exists here so it's going to pick that one up so it's still going to run now now I'm going to rename this one also to hello world dash two it's still going to run because it's going to find it in this user suggest dev training bin folder so if I run it it's still going to find it now I'm going to remove the third one as well or rename it so if I go into the hello directory inside the bin folder and I press F2 to rename it and I'm going to call it dash, as dash 3 now it's not there anywhere in the class path now if I run it it will say class not found exception right so now I'm going to enable one of them to see whether it can pick up anywhere in this class path so let's enable the one in C colon temp2 so if I go to C colon temp2 and if I restore it back and now if I run it run this program it's going to first look in C colon temp1 it did not find it it'll go to C colon temp2 it found it there and it'll run it I can also run, uh, change the class path to use a relative path for temp2 and instead of saying C colon temp2 I can just say temp2 because temp2 is inside C colon right so it should still run so you can use either absolute path names or relative path names as one of the entries in the class path so this is how the class path affects uh, picking up of the picking up the class file and running it by the JVM you can also have jar files as part of the class for class path I'm going to show that in a subsequent video but right now let's stick to having directories as your class path entries okay now you can all try out this program on your machines and see how it works